Hello and welcome to our third and final round with Living End. Uh, I don't really want to keep this hand. This is across the line for even me. This is fine. Nope. I think if that first land had a cycler, I, I don't know why I'm telling you this, because I think I may have already kept this hand tonight, but if that first land had a cycler instead of the Fulminator, I would have snapped it off. Go ahead. Man, all Death Shadow tonight. I was kind of afraid for a minute that would be a mirror match, and I actually have no idea what happens in a mirror, so I didn't want to think about it. This is a spot where uh, not revealing info is actually kind of useful. I might get I okay again after that. Sure. Worth noting, I don't want to put a Swamp into play so Street Wraith doesn't have the Land Walk. Well, no point in not potentially putting an extra card in my graveyard. Go ahead. Self-target? You guess probably target me from, like, marginal info. So my opponent knows I have that. There's no point in cycling it yet. Again, this is Inquisition, and prote or Inquisition Protection range. So if I hold the Carabid, my opponent can't Inquisition me on their main phase if I, my top card of my deck is a uh, draw spell. Well, here, I'm just, I'd rather just put random cards from my deck into the graveyard. Sweet. Uh, yeah, I think one more is good value. Yeah, whatever. Basically, the idea is that my opponent gets the thought sees the top card of my deck instead of that. Um, but if I hit a cycler, like, that's fine. It's just like, you know, whatever one out of... I'm effectively putting a random card from my deck into my graveyard. Even though there's a chance that it's this, it could also just be anything else. So, And more creatures in my graveyard is actively good. Um, I'm going to start by cycling horror. Because if I hit a 3-drop, that changes my play. So I didn't... I don't think I want to cast Archfiend. So I think I just want to play my tap land and continue with my life. Maybe I should have played the fetch. Yeah, I should have played the fetch, because if I hit a creature, I can fetch a basic swamp. It's net... I know the bottom card, but it's a net even. Oh, uh, I don't want to fetch a basic swamp, though, because my opponent gets back multiple street race. Sure. Choose. Anything. Yeah, I'm going to take a lot of damage this turn. So, again, reminder, no basic swamps. Don't put a swamp into play. I can say this a few times. Yeah, I'm dead to uh, double ups. Dealer. Dealer. Okay. Okay, we got another shot. Guess I should have cycled this first. Uh, no need to fire now. Sometimes those decks have stubborn denial. But I'm just kind of dead to that anyways. All of the things... No. Come on! Okay, fine. 
I don't know what I was supposed to do about that at any point in the game. Have the top of my library be ordered in a different way. Um, full manager is good. I want to cut one of these because it's a liability. I don't really want... I guess uh, my opponent has a million discard. This is good too because this, this actually against this opponent shuts off stubs. Because I probably don't have multiple uh, ways to do that. Let's just... Uh, Cut the foil archfiend for a miser ley line. I don't want a ton of those, but one's okay. Yeah, uh, I like this. I wanted to keep it before I knew there were no lands. Okay, I should probably main face cycle this. And that. Yeah, and that. Well, okay. I did what I could. <laughs> well, they're, oh, who's their target? Oh, themselves. Yeah. And the idea behind doing that is if I hit a land, I get another cycle there. I think uh, hitting more cards is more important than uh, saving a mana. And like if I miss, I'm not just gonna like wait a turn behind on my top decks to start cycling. Woo! Okay, let's uh, start doing stuff soon. One vote against Basic Mountain, for the record. Just one in the list for whatever reason, even though there's no fetches. Okay, so... Sure, let's cycle a Street Wraith. Um, don't see an issue with cycling another Street Wraith. Gonna play Blooming Marsh and pass. Be really sad if this is spell bomb. Whatever. It's a three four. So we'll cycle the harder to cycle one first. Now I'm in a spot. Interesting. What do I want to do here? Do I play around denial? I guess so. What are the odds my opponent could put an instant in the graveyard? Probably pretty high. So one thing I can do is I can play Fulminator, blow this up, and then beast within the follow-up. I think I'm actually just supposed to play this and pass. And if my opponent fetches a blue, darn, they didn't. If they don't fetch a blue, I kind of just want to, yeah. Okay, I can't shut them off of it anymore. I 
think I just want to fire here. Yeah, that was bad. That was really bad. I'm plus two in the goif. I didn't think about that. I think taking the hit is better. Yeah. So I'm now taking seven. There's at least two dead cards. This is probably a follow-up Death Shadow. Traverse for Shadow, maybe? Traverse for Fulminator Mage. Interesting. Um... Probably just want to cycle some stuff. Because I think I just want to hit another thing. If my opponent has a second stubs, I'm dead. Whatever. I don't think there was any way to beat double stubs. I guess I could have played my Fulminator, blew this up, and then... <sighs> yeah, I could have done that. Maybe I could have beat a second stubs. punished uh this is the worst land and my opponents have basically zero life so it doesn't matter yeah i think i'm priced into this i would rather die to second stubs here than uh like, I also just lose to any kill spell on my Fulminator here. Yeah. Okay. Dead. Yeah. I guess I could have... But then I don't... Uh, like, if my opponent just has a kill spell for this Fulminator last turn, I just, like, don't get a bunch of draws, a bunch of ways to get out of that to the stubs. I think I just have to assume they don't have the second stubs and I maximize my odds of finding the other Cascader. Anyways, defeated once, finally. Uh, yeah, a bit of a beating. Fulminator, I don't think, changed a little. Actually, Fulminator did change a little. I think the Fulminator, if I had... Uh, yeah... I wonder if I should have read into that. They had so many bricks in hand. I don't know. Let me know if you if you saw anything that would have indicated that they have removal in hand or discard in hand or anything like that. Because I, I think they're supposed to have some removal in post board, but I just don't know what. Oh well. That is unfortunate.